Hey gang and welcome to your very first step in becoming a screencasting ninja. Okay then my friends, so over the last year or so a lot of you have been asking me to do some kind of mini series on how to actually create videos from screencasting techniques to editing tips. So I was going to initially do that, but then I thought instead of me trying to explain something that I honestly don't know that much about, why not ask someone who does know a lot more about it than me to make the videos for you? And that's exactly what I did. I asked Kevin from Filmmakers Formula over here if he could create a mini series all about screencasting for you from basic recording techniques to editing. And he's very, very kindly done that for us. So first of all, Thanks to Kevin for doing these and secondly my friends if you do like these videos make sure you check out his channel It's truly awesome. He's got some great videos on there all about special effects and anything to do with filmmaking So definitely check out that and subscribe Anyway, I really hope you enjoy this series and without further ado I'm gonna hand you over to Kevin Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm from the channel Filmmakers Formula where I talk about video editing tips and creative filmmaking. Sean told me that some of you wanted to start your own channels and cover your own tutorials, so he asked me to chat with you guys about things you must know when it comes to screencasting. There will be 10 videos in this series to help you go from an idea to your final screencast. So get ready because you'll be posting your first screencast in no time. We'll be covering the options for screencasting and editing software. I'll also talk about how to get the best audio for your narration. Then we'll dive into actually making the screencast and editing in Premiere Pro. Then I'll cover some effects and shortcuts that might come in handy during your production. Before we start, let's go over some general tips when making these types of videos. To minimize unnecessary pauses and um, and keep the audience engaged, it's important to create an outline of what you will be talking about. Now this can be a bullet pointed list or a full on script. It just depends on what you're more comfortable with. When making the script, try to organize your ideas either into categories or chronologically. For example, for this tutorial, I'll be taking you through the process of making a screencast from start to finish. So if you're new to the world of making these videos, you can follow along. It's okay to pause when you're talking and um, regather your thoughts because we'll have the ability to edit that part out later. But if you insist on doing it in one take, I'd look into softwares for teleprompters. They have them for phones and tablets. To keep everything running smoothly on your computer, close any unnecessary programs or browser windows. This makes sure that your screen doesn't lag when recording. Also, be sure to minimize any interruptions like emails or notifications. The same thing applies to your phone. Clean your desktop. You don't want a bunch of icons on your desktop distracting the audience. So make sure you put them in folders. Also go over the things that you'll be covering so you can hide any personal information you don't want to share with the rest of the world. Once something is on the internet, it's impossible to erase it. So feel free to do a walkthrough and practice showing the things that you'll be showing during your screencast. And make sure nothing private is showing. Value. Make sure you know who your audience is and what value you're giving to them. Let people know what they're expecting and get to the point. Be confident on your knowledge. If you're wanting to make a screencast, it's more than likely you have the experience and skills that you want to share with the rest of the world. In the next chapter, I'll talk about the different software options for editing and recording your screencast. So let's get started and I'll see you in the next video.